Tin Tin in Tibet. Tin Tin in Tibet was written by Herj. This is the story of Tin Tin rescuing his young Chinese friend Chang from the Yeti after a plane crash in Himalayas. Before moving on to the chapter, let's get familiarized with the characters. Tin Tin, his pet dog Snowy, Captain Haddock, Professor Calculus, Tarki, Tintin's young Chinese friend Chang Chong Chen. So these are the main characters. So now let's get into the summary of Tintin in Tibet. While having a vacation at a resort in Verges with Captain Haddock and Professor Calculus, Tintin reads of a plane crash in the Gozen Than Massif in Himalaya Mountains. That night, in their hotel, Tintin falls asleep while playing a game of chess with Haddock, who is having trouble choosing his next move. Tintin has a vivid dream that his young Chinese friend Chang Chong Chen survived in the crash and he awakes violently yelling Chang. By violently yelling Chang's name, he throws the whole recreation room into chaos. The next morning, he read in the newspaper that Chang was indeed aboard the plane that crashed in Tibet. Believing that his dream was a telepathic vision, Tintin travels to Kathmandu with his pet dog Snowy, followed by a skeptical Captain Haddock. They met with a Sherpa named Taki and accompanied by some porters. Then they trek from Nepal to the wreckage site in Tibet. After arriving in Tibet, the group noticed footprints in snow that Taki claims that the footprints belong to the Yeti. Yeti was a big giant animal that lives in Himalaya mountains. The porters desert the group in fear, but Tintin, Haddock and Taki continued their journey. Taking the porters loads as well and eventually they reached the plane's wreckage site. Tintin sets off with the snowy to try and trace Chang's step. And in that process, they discovered a cave where Chang has carved his name on a rock, demonstrating that he survived the crash. Following a blizzard. Blizzard means a severe snowstorm with high winds. So, following a blizzard in which Tintin falls down a crevasse. Crevasse means a deep open crack. It's especially found in glacier. Tintin then rejoins with Haddock and Taki who had sheltered inside the crashed plane. Taki resolves not to continue any further, believing that Chang is dead. So Tintin, Snowy and Haddock travelled in the direction of a scarf that Tintin sported on a cliff face. While trying to climb uphill and after having his pickaxe jammed with St. Elmo's fire, Haddock loses his grasp and dangles perilously down the cliff wall, endangering Tintin who is tied to him. He told Tintin to cut the rope in order to save himself but Tintin declines. Tarki, inspired by Tintin's selflessness, returned just in time to save both of them. That night, they pitch their tent in a snowstorm, but it blows away into the face of Yeti. They hike onwards, unable to sleep lest they freeze, and finally arrive within the site of Buddhist monastery of Khor Biong before collapsing due to extreme fatigue. An avalanche occurs and they buried beneath the snow. Due to a blessed lightning, a clairvoyant monk at the monastery sees a vision of Tintin, Snowy, Haddock and Tarki's perilous situation. Tintin regains consciousness and incapable to reach the monastery himself. So he writes a note and gives it to Snowy to deliver. But Snowy lets go of the note when he finds a bone, but then he realizes what he has done and runs to the monastery to make someone to follow him. 
द मंग्स हेड आफ्टर हिम एस ही इज रेकग्नाइज एज द सेम वाइट डॉग इन ब्लेस लाइटनिंग्स डेलीरियम आफ्टर टू डेज टिंटिन हैडक एंड ताकि अवेकन इन मोनेस्ट्री एंड ओप्टेन एन ऑडियंस विथ मंग्स आफ्टर टिंटिन टेल्स द ग्रैंड एबर्ट वाई दे आर देयर द एबर्ट टेल्स हिम टू अबैंडन हिज क्वेस्ट एंड रिटर्न टू हिज होम कंट्री हाउ अवर ब्लस्ड लाइटनिंग हैज अनादर विशन सो थ्रू दैट विशन टिंटिन लर्न दैट चैंग इज स्टिल अलाइव इन साइड अ माउंटेन केव बट दैट द मिगु और यति इज ऑल्सो देयर हैडक डज नॉट बिलीव द विशन इज जेन्युन बट Tintin after being gives directions by the abbot travels to Chara Bang Chara Bang was a small village near the horn of Yak the mountain cited by blessed lightning Hadak initially refuses to follow Tintin any more but soon changes his mind and pursues him to Chara Bang both of them along with Snowy head to horn of Yak on final lap of their journey Both of them along with the snowy wait outside until they see the yeti leave the cave. Tintin ventures inside with a camera to look for Chang which he does so successfully. Chang was so feverish and shivering inside the cave. The yeti then returns to the cave before Haddock is able to warn Tintin and he reacts with anger upon seeing Tintin taking Chang away. He reaches toward Tintin setting off the flash bulb of the camera and yeti startled by the light runs out of the cave knocking over captain who had come to save tintin the two of them carried chang back to chara bang chang then told them the story of how he stayed alive and how the yeti took care of him along the way they briefly met the yeti again who is scared off by captain haddock blowing his nose leading chang to express sympathy for yeti calling him poor snowman instead of abominable once chang had been prepared for comfortable conveyance he tintin and haddock were met by the grand abbot along with a group of monks who present tintin with a silk scarf in honor of bravery he has shown and the strength of his friendship for chang the monks take them back to kor byong and after a week when chang has recovered they return to nepal via a caravan as their party travels away from monastery chang muses that the yeti is no wild animal but instead it has a human soul while the yeti sadly observes their departure from far away so this is the overall short summary of the chapter tintin in tibet kindly check the description box to see the animation of this chapter the animation would really help you in getting an overall view about this chapter so i hope this video would be helpful for you thank you